Good day, I am Miss Maria Marisol Ivador, your science teacher. So today, we will be having a new lesson. I know that you are extremely excited for this lesson. So what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Let's discover something new together. Okay, good day to all of you. So today we are um, we are in the science for quarter one two. So I want to say that congrats to all of you because you are now in the week two of the first quarter in science. So, let's go, let's learn something new together today. So, we're going to find out instead what happens to solid materials when bent. Okay, can you please describe some materials that can be bent and what happened to, be what happened to them if you bent them? So, can you please imagine what is that? Okay, let's see. Let's find out what happens if the solid materials when bent. Okay? So, before we proceed, we're just going to define what is bent. So, bent is to force a thing to become curved or not straight. So, for example, this um, spoon, diba, straight up spoon. Okay. Parang nilagyan nila ng force para maging uh, magkaroon ng, ng curve. And that is called as a bend. So, ayan po yan. So, what can you notice when you when the materials bent? Ano napansin nyo sa kutsara nung binent? Okay, let's see. Let's find out. So, these are the things or these are the qualities that can be changed when the solid materials when bent. So, the original shape and size. So, this green circle is the before bending the solid material. So, here is the after you bend the materials. Okay, so before, it has the original shape and size. Diba katulad sa kutsara kanina? For si spoon kanina, kung titignan nyo, ang talagang original size and shape niya is what? Straight. Okay? And what else? Okay? So, Kapag na-bend na natin ang isang bagay on solid materials, it will change its size and shape. So, can you please um, give me another examples of materials or things that can be bent? So, these are the materials that can be bent. So, the paper clip, the wire, or the string, and the nail. So, these are the things... Or this is an example of the materials that can be bent. So, give me an example of materials that can be bent around your home or inside your home. So, I'm going to give you 5 seconds to answer that. Okay, so you're very good and that's alright. So, how about this one? So, when we see a paper or a band paper or um, colored paper, the, you can change their size and shape by cutting it. Okay, and this one, the pin can, you can hammer them so that you can change the size and shape of the materials. And this one, you are going to mold it 
and or press it so that you can change the size and shape and all of the size and shape is a physical change okay so wings and changing shape and size of an object katulad ng mga sinabi ko kanina ang mga uh, ang mga ways para mabago ang isang bagay o ang shape ng isang bagay is by cutting by hammering by molding by tearing by folding by bending and by pounding so many um, it's so many ways to change the size and shape of the Object. So, marami pang paraan para mabago pa yung size and shape ng isang bagay. Okay, so non-new materials is formed when you have done this thing to a solid materials. It is only physical changes. So, wala pong pinagbago, wala pong uh, bagong material na nabuo kapag ginawa niyo po ito, lahat ng ito, sa isang bagay. Physical change lamang po ang ang nagbago. Ibig sabihin ng physical change, yung labas na ano lamang ng isang bagay ang nabago at wala na pong iba. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you for listening to me. And if you have uh, questions or if you have uh, suggestions, you can just comment down below or you're just going to PM me on my messenger so thank you god bless and bye okay that's all for today i hope you learned a lot um i hope to see you tomorrow for our new video lesson so that's all again i am miss maria marisol ilior your science teacher keep safe and god bless bye